What should audiences be expecting in season 10? I don't know. This season, I think Archer is kind of, they're all, the entire group, they're all in a spaceship. But typically, like the show, the season, like, sort of follows their adventures and what they're doing in space. It's not a very good answer. This is more like a merchant marine ship or a ragtag crew. You'll see a lot of influence from Aliens, 2001, shows like Space 1999. I'm not having this argument again. <laughs> Apparently you are. No, I'm not. Aborting docking sequence. Yes, you are. Archer and I are a divorced couple. So that's a new iteration for us in our relationship. Still fighting all the time, but with different things to fight about. All right, already! Cheryl is a kick-ass fighter pilot. My character still is terrible, and she still wants to have sex with robots, and she's still making enemies with her teammates. Mallory is a sentient being that runs the ship, similar to a HAL, only much more drunk. I can transform myself into a ball and control things. Moving on. Oh, man, this is going to be so gross. What is? <laughs> Cleaning your nuts out from between my toes. Cam is a gigantic monster made out of rocks. So she kind of takes care of, of business because she's the biggest thing that's on the ship. She's like really gigantic, way bigger than she was in Danger Island. Huh. I'm checking all the storage lockers. This one's clear. Cyril's back to being more or less his normal self. I'm not even sure what his job is on a ship. It kind of doesn't matter. I think the more pressing question is, no, Krieger, for the millionth time, you'll never be a real boy. This season, Krieger's an android. He's still Krieger, but he's like robot Krieger with a certain logic to him and a lack of wanting sex. What could possibly go wrong? Seriously? Besides all the normal stuff that could easily go disastrously wrong since space travel is so dangerous. Uh, sci-fi is a huge genre. We kind of narrowed it down to like a late 70s, early 80s sci-fi vibe. There's robots galore, there's hyperspace, there's black holes and things getting sucked into it. There's giant creatures in outer space that devour things. It's exciting. It just opens up a new genre of storytelling and details and all those kinds of things that you don't find on Earth. I think primarily the show, no matter where it's set, is basically like a workplace comedy where a group of people are stuck together and hate each other. Now we're going to be fighting evil aliens and each other. I'm hoping Lana keeps her shirt on the season. I can't promise you anything. We're back to, like, a joke a second. The scripts are some of the funniest that I've read in the in the whole series. It's just spectacular. I love this season. Archer! Join us in the cosmos. Calm down. Everybody brace for initial thrust in three. Whoa! Damn! Son of a... My last bottle of bitter lemon! Whoa. We are not going off on some... Wild goose chase. Who's in? I... Come on. Spilling all my robot mill. You got us into this mess. Let's not point fingers, especially yours, Lana. Those things are like cricket bats. Something must be depleting power from the ship. Did someone leave the fan on in the bathroom again? Seriously. And that's going to help me how? All of this is necessary. Actually, let's see where it is. I only have another seven, eight steps in me. Sun's out, gun's out. Well, in space, the sun is all. Don't step on my line! Bring it, bird! Ah! We're stuck inside a space nautilus between his colon and his cloaca. What's a cloaca? It's an organ that's used for excretion and also intercourse. <laughs> Smart. Archer 1999. The all new season premieres Wednesday, May 29th on FXX.